So what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate our sequence again. Select the sequence and hit Command D. Uh, that creates a duplicate copy again. Uh, this time I am going to rename it as export for AAF. And I'm going to open that sequence. Now we're going to delete all our video files. Uh, so the way you can do that is by right clicking and delete track. So all we're doing now is working with audio. Then we're going to go to file output and export to file. And again, we're going to go to options. This time we're going to choose export as AAF. And we're going to tick include audio tracks in sequence, which gives us the audio details tab here. The export method, we are going to change to consolidate media. And we're going to change the handles length to 100 frames. And at the bottom of this tab, we're going to look at the media destinations. So for audio, we want to make sure that the option there is for folder. And make sure that we have ticked use same folder as AAF file. So we're going to hit save and choose where we want to save it. Um, I'm just going to rename that so I know which one I'm working with. Rock Climber Export for AAF. Save that. And now we're finished in Avid Media Composer, so we can close that down. We can start Pro Tools. Make sure you, you do this first rather than trying to open the AF file straight from Finder. So in Pro Tools, you'll go to File, Open Session, and find where you've saved the AAF file. I've saved it here, and click Open. We're going to work at 24 bits, so we're going to change that bit depth there. Sample rate 48K, that's fine. And interleaved, you can tick that and choose a location for it. I'm happy with that. So create the session. Um, it's going to give me some options here. Um, I'm going to leave everything as it is. The only thing I'm going to change, um, you may find that it, it, the default option is to link to source media. I'm going to copy from source media so that all my files are within my Pro Tools session audio files folder. Uh, and then I'm going to hit OK. And just have a look here. So it's imported the audio files as we, as we wanted it to. Um, all we've got to do now is import the video. So file, import, video. And here we go. So we're going to save it to a new track and we're also going to import the the audio from it as well as a reference. So OK to that. I'm going to choose the audio files folder to save the audio. And then we can see here, if we open our video window, we've got the reference video file with all the time code. Um, we can mute the original audio from the video, so we don't really need that in Pro Tools, but it's, it's just as a reference. And then we've got our, um, our audio on separate tracks. Nope. Okay. Sorry. No, it's all good. I'm just seeing. So we've got all the edits um, and um, all our tracks separately if we had more than one track. Um, and so you now you can work within Pro Tools.